welcome to another episode of Vegan Scratch Kitchen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are making a vegan version of Taco Bell's iconic Crunch Wrap Supreme. This version includes a scratch made vegan nacho cheese and sour cream, and it also includes a seasoned Beyond Beef. Let's make the nacho cheese sauce first. Peel one medium sized russet potato and dice. You'll want enough diced potato to fill one measuring cup. Peel two small carrots and again dice. You'll need one half cup of beets. Boil the potatoes and carrots for a total of 10 minutes. Once boiled, strain and add potatoes and carrots to a high powered blender along with 3 4 cup unsweetened original almond milk, 1 3rd cup grapeseed oil, 6 to 8 pickled jalapeno slices, 2 tablespoons pickling liquid from the jalapenos, 1 tablespoon apple cider vinegar, 2 thirds cup nutritional yeast, 1 teaspoon each garlic and onion powder, and 1 half teaspoon salt. Blend on a high speed for 2 to 3 minutes until the mixture has emulsified and the cheese sauce is nice and smooth. Pour into a separate container and set aside. Next we'll make the cashew sour cream. This recipe is very simple and straightforward. To a blender, add one cup cashew pieces, which have been boiled for about 15 minutes, then strained. Then add the juice of two lemons and about one cup of unsweetened original almond milk. Blend together until creamy and smooth, then pour into a separate container and set aside. Now onto the seasoned Beyond Meat. Finally dice one large white onion and mince three cloves garlic. Place one 16 ounce package of Beyond Meat in a large mixing bowl. To the bowl, add one tablespoon each of paprika, cumin, and chili powder. Then add one and a half teaspoon salt and one half teaspoon organic sugar. Mix together with your hands until all spices are well combined with the meat. Now heat a medium sized pot or Dutch oven over medium high heat and add two tablespoons grapeseed oil. Add in the seasoned Beyond Meat and flatten out so that the bottom of the pot is covered. Let this sear for about one to two minutes, then begin to mix around with a wooden spoon. After the Beyond Meat has seared for a total of three to four minutes, remove from the pot into a separate bowl and set aside. Place the same pot back over medium high heat and add another one to two tablespoons of oil. Then add in your diced white onions and mix around. After about two minutes, pour in one half cup water and mix in with a spoon. After cooking for another three minutes, add in your minced garlic and mix to combine. Cook for another two to three minutes, then add the seasoned Beyond Meat back to the pot. Mix in until well combined. Cook for about three more minutes, then remove from the heat and pour the meat mixture into a separate bowl. For the final part of the prep, thinly slice one fourth of a head of lettuce and finely dice two tomatoes on the vine. You'll need one package of large flour tortillas and one small box of tostada shells. Lay out one flour tortilla on your work surface and place one tostada shell in the center. Use a pizza cutter to cut around the edge. Now set the tostada shell and the similar sized small tortilla round aside in the same place. Place one large tortilla out on your work surface and layer ingredients in the following order. First add two to three tablespoons of your seasoned Beyond Beef, then two to three tablespoons of the vegan nacho cheese. Place the tostada shell on top. Next add some sliced lettuce, about two to three tablespoons of vegan sour cream, and then about 14 to 16 diced tomatoes. Now top with the small cut out flour tortilla, and for the final step, begin to fold the outer part of the tortilla over into the center by creating a pleat. Then continue to fold in pleats around the center in a clockwise fashion until all the outer edges have been folded in. Flip the crunch wrap over so that the pleated side is on the bottom and repeat this process for the remaining crunch wraps. Heat a large griddle or a saute pan over medium high heat and once hot, add the crunch wraps pleat side down to the pan. Grill for about three to four minutes on the pleated side, then flip over and grill for another two to three minutes on the other side. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you around.